Everybody has an own personal motivation for taking pictures in nature, and I'm not different. In today's video, I'm gonna share um, my personal motivation about wildlife photography. Furthermore, I wanna share my 2022 expectation. So, are you ready? Yes? Okay, let's go! Since I was uh, a child, I was always uh, fascinated by animals, by mountains, and by nature in general. Every time we could, um, I mean uh, my sister and my parents, uh, of course, uh, we went uh, somewhere to stay in nature, like hiking in mountains uh, or near home, or simply to pick up uh, some mushrooms in the countryside. So I started to admire uh, what the, there was around me, the green grass, the blue sky, birds uh, flying and chirping, small ants living in big communities. At school uh, I learned many things about animals, but always uh, reading from books uh, or maybe watching some documentary on TV. In that period um, I never thought about photography, even because uh, I was really young and I thought to study uh, and to play with friends, uh, with friends of mine. But a day, just a, a friend of mine managed to buy a DSLR camera, with, uh, with film of course, not a digital camera. I still remember uh, the brand, it was a Contax, and I still remember when he developed uh, the pictures in his own bathroom, making a dark, uh, dark room and using a red light bulb, just to, uh, for having uh, some small light. And I still remember the joy and the surprise when a picture came up from the water due to the chemical reagents. Magic, yes, uh, it was magic for, uh, and wonderful for me. That was my first met uh, with the photography, a black and white photography. It was a dream for me, because I couldn't afford to buy it on my own camera, as well as uh, my parents. Unfortunately, uh, we, uh, we were poor days both and I forgot soon uh, the magic, not before to promise uh, to myself to buy, a, to buy a camera when I would have uh, the money. Many years after, finally I got my first DSLR camera. In 2013, I had the opportunity to, uh, to have a Sony A57 uh, yes, with a kit lens, the classic 18-55mm lens, but for me it was wonderful and great. And I couldn't wait to use it, so I went out to take some picture. And where I went? Come on, try to guess. Okay, I'll tell you. I went in a countryside to photograph the nature. It happened naturally. I didn't plan that moment. I just went there without thinking before, and the magic got back. I still remember the first pictures. Nothing special, but I was so excited that for me were beautiful. Okay, watching them now, I understand that there are many mistakes in those pictures, but I started to understand that a new love, a new passion was born. Day after day I studied some book um, about animals, plants, insects, and of course photographies. Yes, I wanted to learn everything about photography. Composition, light, exposition, shutter speed. Um, there were so many things to learn, but I was um, I was never satisfied, so I kept, uh, kept on studying every day, and during the while I took photos uh, everywhere. After some months, I understood that wildlife photography was always in my mind, so I got the first telephoto lens, the Sony 70-300mm lens, a really good lens, even though it was pretty expensive. <laughs> but after that, I never quit uh, to stay natural. Until now that I'm making the um, wildlife video in order to show you the beauty of this planet. Okay, on TV we can see fantastic documentaries about wildlife. Stay comfortably, sit down on a sofa. But I wanted my documentary. And mostly I wanted and still want to show the natural beauty of this small land called uh, Sardinia. Here we can find many animals, uh, mostly birds. Uh, 
yes, of any kind, even though my favorite birds are birds of prey. Yes, I love raptors, eagles, falcons, owls, uh, vultures. Yes, and they are awesome. And I never try to watch and photograph them. But maybe you have already understood this thing, haven't you? Stay in nature uh, for waiting this that special moment that happens when an animal um, comes and quite near you. For me, it's like a drug. It makes me feel better and yes, better than a medicine. And this is one um, the reason, one of the reasons why I want to stay in, always in nature, to stay and live better. In these years, uh, I learned to respect na better the nature, mostly animals, uh, animal life. So the first rule, uh, rule for me about wildlife photography is to not get animals in trouble. If there is the doubt um, to get an animal in trouble, I prefer to go. Uh, I prefer to give up, and I don't take any photos. This is my rule. Sometimes some um, work colleague and a friend of mine ask me how we get those images. So I explain that often I need to wake up early in the morning, maybe driving and walking a lot, and maybe I have to stand the chilly days. Yes. Maybe inside a tree or near a cliff edge. Usually nobody thinks about that or how much effort I have to do and always they tell what does push you to, to do all that. And every time, uh, yes, the answer is the same, the passion for the nature and the peace that uh, nature, uh, nature gave me. That's it. In this new year, 2022, I'd like to take many photos of some specific animals and I'd like to show you uh, the behind the scene. I mean, how, uh, how I work the forgetting the result. The subjects are always birds, but sometimes mm, I might make some video about landscape photography because I like it. And I have a project with the Sardinian uh, waterfalls, even though it's a subject pretty different from my usual subject. But don't worry. The channel is a wildlife channel and I'll continue to publish wildlife videos and only a few landscape videos. So stay tuned because I'm going to make many new videos. Some will be um, as projects. Uh, so there will be some series but I don't want to spoil it. So please stay with me because I'll do my best to give you uh, beautiful new videos, pictures of course and a surprise of our nature. I hope you appreciate all that effort, but for now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, me, uh, please give me a like, and maybe you can consider to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to enable the notification bell, just to be uh, informed about every my news. Okay guys, for now it's all. See you real soon, bye bye.